Ground ivy, or creeping charlie, is a common weed problem in area yards. But today we're going to tell you how you can protect your turf. I'm here at the Iowa Arboretum with Richard Duran from ISU. And Richard, how do you know if you have ground ivy? Uh, ground ivy is a very common perennial weed in lawns and gardens. Uh, as far as the characteristics, it has a, a round or kidney-shaped leaf with scalp margins. It has a square stem. It also produces uh, small flowers in the spring. Uh, they tend to be uh, bluish purple. Uh, the plants also have a, have a very distinctive odor. Uh, if you crush or bruise the tissue, it has a mint-like odor. Uh, it's very, very common in lawns and gardens. As it grows, it sends out these very slender vine-like stems. And as they grow, they root periodically. So it's a very common weed. Okay, so now that we know what it looks like, how do we get rid of it? Uh, ground ivy is perfectly adapted to a lawn situation. It's low growing, so it does very, very well in a lawn situation. Uh, as far as controlling it, pulling or digging is simply not very practical or feasible. Uh, herbicides are the best way to control it. Uh, the most effective broadleaf herbicide products are those that contain 2,4-D and triclopyr. Uh, the best time to apply these materials would be uh, basically mid-September through early November. Uh, ground ivy is extremely tough to control. It typically takes two applications. Uh, the first application could be in late September, the second one possibly in late October. If you have a situation where the ground ivy is completely overrunning the yard, mm -hmm. essentially it's ground ivy with a little bit of grass, your best course of action may be to simply destroy it and then reseed or resod. Wow, okay. All right, thanks for the tips. And if you would like more information on ground ivy, be sure to log on to gardeninginthezone.com. I'm Liz Gelman.